I want to talk about young people and structure. The trick I play in all of my school appearances is that when I get through with my little homily to the kids, I then invite them to ask questions. And when they raise their hands, they say, come up. And I make them come up and stand in front of me. I make them stand at attention like a soldier. Put your arm straight down to your side. Look up, open your eyes, stare straight ahead, and speak out your question loudly so everybody can hear. General Colin Powell, a soldier for life, plays that game often. Today, 10 schools are named to honor the general, including one at his alma mater, City College of New York, where he began his military journey. On my second semester, I saw these guys in uniform, marching up and down the campus. And I said, hey, I think I like that. And I like the structure, I like the discipline, I like what they were doing, and I joined ROTC. In fact, they had to take my ROTC grades, which was straight A, and plug them into the rest of my grades in order to bring me up to 2.0 so I could graduate. <laughs> The Army was his home for 35 years, three months, and 21 days. On Christmas Day, 1962, the infantry captain landed in Vietnam as an advisor. I tramped my way through the jungle of that forest, really, looking for the Viet Cong. And the Viet Cong was looking for us. Six years later, in 1968, Major Powell was back. The 12,000 advisors had expanded into a field army of half a million troops. After surviving a helicopter crash and rescuing others, Major Powell returned home to turbulent times. The American people were turning away from the war. Anti-war demonstrations and protests spread. He took the lessons learned as he rose in the ranks developing as a leader and commanding soldiers. In 1987, President Reagan named him National Security Advisor. It was one of four presidents he would serve. Ladies and gentlemen, I am most pleased to introduce the man that I have selected to be the next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Colin L. Powell. After overseeing Desert Storm in the first Persian Gulf War as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, in 2001 he was named Secretary of State. He is the only person to hold both America's top military and diplomatic positions. And I would say of General Powell what Harry Truman said of General Marshall. He is a tower of strength and common sense. When you find somebody like that, you have to hang on to him. His military experience served him well as he built coalitions with world leaders to combat terrorism. He often took foreign visitors to see the more than 58,000 names on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. I never come here, never, never come here without being touched to the depth of my soul as I run my hand over the name of a friend long departed but never forgotten. 50 years have gone by since three million young Americans served in the Vietnam War. I often ask, how do we restore honor to the Vietnam veterans? My answer is simple, they never lost their honor. They answered the nation's call.